It's time for Commonwealth Common Sense with Susan Stimson and Kevin Shola. Hello, Susan. How are you? I'm doing great, Kevin. Surviving the snow. How about you? <laughs> Getting there. Looking toward April. That's for sure. I, trying to think of baseball in these uh, sub sub zero temperatures, and you know, to keep you sane. But we'll see. But I know something on your mind this week is uh, the Republican Party once again, but a little different angle as far as uh, what you think they need to do and what they need to stop doing. Well, it's interesting watching the news that's coming out uh, for the RNC and how they're choosing a different path on how they're going to have their primaries play out. They want to make them a little more compact. And I see them focusing on on maybe symptoms, some of the, you know, the symptoms of our problem as a party. But when you get down to the essentials, over the news the past week or so, you see different issues. Utah's now on board of a majority of states who have decided to expand Obamacare with the Medicaid expansion, another Republican governor. And then on the front page of the Wall Street Journal today, basically Republicans are doing a kind of secret plan in the House on amnesty. And while I do believe that we need to have some type of reform, uh, the idea of what I think that they're leaning toward is really not in step with what I think their base believes that they're going to do. So I guess I just wanted to encourage Republicans to get back on track and really follow through on what your base wants you to do. Yeah, I mean, what happened here? I mean, is it all a product of Obama and, you know, the... Uh, the the tone that was set, if you will, during McCain, and then again with Romney about you know treating him with kid gloves for whatever reason, and now this has expanded and morphed into them thinking, well, you know, the people have spoken, they they like these policies when we all know that's not true. I, I could never imagine this being the other way. I mean, imagine if there was a Republican control right now and they were passing, say, you know, anti-abortion issues or traditional marriage issues or things like that. No way would the Democrat Party just sit back and take it. I guess what I have thought on this, either they, they don't believe what they campaigned on, the people that we have who are in power right now, or they don't care. They basically don't care. They're, they're looking at maybe some poll numbers, and uh, it, it fits into what they want to do, and they just don't care. But either way, we're getting the same results, and I think that's why we're continuing to see a struggle you know, within the party uh, just wanting our our leaders who are in charge and have the authority to get back on track and to actually fight for what they say that they believe in when they are campaigning. Right, that's the big point. I mean, if they don't care, fine. Tell us you don't care when you're running for office. I mean, so many of these people, as Governor Palin has pointed out so many times, they ran on defunding Obamacare, and then as soon as they were told, oh, well, you can't really do that, they said, oh, okay, but vote for me anyway. The, you know, we've talked about this again and again and again, but, uh, you know, people need to pick up on this because while Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and Mike Lee and a few select others in the House are fighting against this. You have so many that call themselves Republicans, some that, you know, uh, without shame, call themselves conservatives. And and here they are just playing ball with whatever the administration and whatever the Democrat leadership wants to do. Well, it's a common theme. And unfortunately, it's not just on expanding Obamacare. You're getting into to all different all different levels of of government and the principles of it, whether it is, you know, amnesty or whether it is Obamacare, whether it is raising the debt ceiling without getting true cuts uh, in place. I think that it's just a pattern of behavior in Republicans that uh, this is going to continue to to be a problem for them at election time at the national level until we see some real leadership uh, and follow through on these issues. Yeah, they're falling for the false narrative from the left of them saying, oh, you have to come closer to the left, you have to do this. First of all, why would you take advice from people who are trying to beat you? And secondly, haven't you already seen that when you run people who are similar to the left, you lose because the choice isn't there. You need to run opposites like a cruise. And at a time where we're seeing just a record number of people who are no longer even looking for a job. We're seeing a record number of women who have lost their jobs, who are unemployed. We're seeing the disparity of poor and rich. That gap is growing. We know that these policies aren't working. Republicans know better than this. And so I just think that it's just a continuing 
news story uh, that just uh, is growing, unfortunately. All right, Susan. Well, great job. Thank you. And see what you can do about halting the snow, okay? Thank you.